Hey guys, and welcome back to Life with Kyle. Uh, today we have something slightly different. It's not Timu related, uh, but it is an unboxing. Um, it comes from a company called Clearance XL Limited. Uh, I found it on Woucher where I got 50% off um, a mystery box. So I thought, sod it, I may as well do it. The box itself, if I could find it. Should have had this prepared. Right, it's um, the box itself in general cost thirty nine ninety nine, uh, so I got half price off that, so it comes at like twenty pound. You then pay, I think, it's two ninety nine for normal postage, or nine ninety nine for next day delivery. That's what I paid. I paid nine ninety nine, so I think it came to something like twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, and it's called The Cost of Living June Mystery Clearance Box. Perfectly good past best before RRP £112.74 £112 clearance uh, extra large box. It is down here. It is heavy, really heavy, so I can't uh, lift it up and show. Um, but it says on here... A mystery clearance box experience containing approximately 100 clearance box. Ooh. Perfectly good past best before containing approximately 100 clearance grocery items that are either on or past their best before date and packed to perfection. These boxes are big and heavy and will contain a range of clearance grocery items, snacks, crisps and drinks deliver to your door. There will be some duplicate items as well. Each box comes packed with two further boxes jam-packed with clearance items. Uh, some items are not available to buy on the website because you can select the items you want. So you could just do a whole grocery shop on there if you wanted. I say grocery, um, not perishables and things like that, but cupboard foods, I think. Um, it says, please note best before dates. If you are fussy about best before dates, then please do not order this mystery box. It will contain products that are past be their best before date, never use, never use by or sell by date. These products are perfectly good to consume and passed our taste test and storage test. So I will link the website in the description below. Um, if you're interested, I don't get anything from that. It's just a description. Um, their mo motto is waste less, save more on perfectly good products dedicated to online clearance. So uh, my knife, I'm just going to open the box. Thankfully today, there won't be any rustling of bags because it's not, t it's not t -mail. It's well packaged and a massive, massive box. Um, with tape all around. This has just been delivered to me about five minutes ago. So, uh, it's not that bad. It was dispatched by a DPD and tracking was available on all of it. I could track it up until the point it was arriving at my door. Um, so in the box you get your invoice and on it it says uh, it just says about the um, mystery box. It doesn't really say anything else. Ooh. So the first thing in this box that I can pull out, it's a bit squished, but it is Cottage Bakery Ripple Layer Cake. And it's originally £1.49. As you can see, 
the box is pretty squished. And the date on this is best before 29th to the 12th, 2022. That doesn't really bother me. I'm not fussed by the dates as long as it's not used by all sell by dates. Oh, the next thing then, again, it's a bit battered, uh, is Nestle Harvest Home Bran Flakes. Simply, de oh, simply delicious, crunchy flakes of whole grain wheat with added wheat bran happy days. Save in 16. Uh, where's this? Best before. And this is best before end 17. Uh, 723. Oh, uh, where do I start? Right, I'll use this little box. And they weren't wrong when they said it was, it had boxes inside the box because it does. Um, next then, they've given, uh, our Bisto Best Chicken Gravy saves four to six. Um, this was best before January 2023. So that's not so bad. Then something my mum likes. Uh, chicken noodle soup. Um, this was the fourth 2022. I've got to admit, they do pack it full. Um, you've got a little go-ahead fruit and oat bakes, apple. Um, I don't know the sell-by date on that because it just says 084, that's the time. But it doesn't really matter. And then got a little lolly. Um, next then I got seriously good garlic and caramelised onion mayonnaise, which is always handy. Um, this is best before and 9, 2023. So this isn't even out of date yet. Um, we then have Fentiman's. Valencian, no, Valencian orange tonic water. I don't like tonic water, but oh well. Uh, and this is best before 28th of August, 2023. And um, so that isn't even out of date. Um, then again, it's a bit battered. We have a traditional mini panettone. Uh, I think I'm the only one in my family that likes this. And this was the 30th of the 4th, 2023. So still good, as for all of these products are. Uh, I then have Heinz Yellow Mustard New York Style Deli Honey. I love mustard. Uh, I did buy um, the wrong one, which was a bit spicy, but I still like it. And that was <clears throat> expired or best before 9th, 2023. So that's still in date. Um, I then have a Coolmore West Cork Bakery Chocolate Orange Zing Zingy and Zesty Cake. This was £2.69. And the date on this is 24th the 4th. No, 24th of the 1st, 2023, which is for there. Oh, I then have. Whole Food Earth Popping Corn, uh, Organic Popping Corn, GMO Free, Gluten, uh, Vegan, One Kilo Flowers and Grains. Um, this is best before the 12th of the 1st, 2023, but it's grains and it's packaged, so it's going to be good. 
and you can never have enough popcorn. I have my phone set up there, so I'm hopefully being able to record down onto the products. That's why I'm not showing it on here, I'm showing it on there. So hopefully you get to see that when I put it all together. Uh, if not, I'll just have to refilm. Um, but yeah, I'm trying something new. I'm filming on the iPad, filming on that, seeing if I could get it better. And I've moved from sitting on my bed to at the table on a chair with my cupboard behind me. Um, you then have a Lily O'Brien's, I think it's like a chocolate Hershey's Kiss. I have no clue. Pardon me. And there's no date on that. Uh, unless I unwrap it and I'm not going to do that yet. Then there's roasted and salted mixed nuts. Perfectly salted. 35 gram roasted and salted nuts and they were best before November 2022 and these are from Starbucks then you have a bottle of vanilla coca-cola zero sugar there's a 1.25 litre bottle I love coke zero I love pepsi so this is going to be perfect this is the 31st 30th of the 11th 2022 but it's pop so and it's sealed so that's not so bad i have candy factory fruit pastels uh blue rays or raz versus strawberry it's just sweets and they are best before 27th of the 2nd, 2023. Um, this will go to my mum because I don't like ginger. Actually, no. It'll come in handy for cooking. The I have Summer Pride Ginger Puree. Uh, it's in a jar. The jar is sealed. And the best before date on that is March 22. So that is still good to go as well as it, the fact that it's sealed. Um, and then I have Good Earth, Good Energy, Organic, That, Geusha, or Geusha, Blue Ra Ed, Raspberry and Blueberry. It's like an energy drink, I'm assuming. Um, a 250 ml can and the best before date is July 2023 so it's not long gone out of uh, best before I'll say gone out of it's past it's best before next then is a whole box a massive box of I have no clue it's Meze, Mez East, Middle Eastern food. And it says Mez East recipe kit falafel, five times eight, 180 grams, chickpea and herb mixed, a mix for falafel balls with tahini and pomegranate sauces in individual pouches. This is a best before end 5.22. And it's a whole box. Of that I'll have a look at that actually oh I told a lie it's not it's something completely different so I'll get into that one in a minute we have then a small box and I'm not trusting that because I've just read that opened it and it's not that right this box is full of stuff so you have loads of tea bags. These are green tea and lemon by London Fruit and Herb. It's green tea and lemon, the Vert et Citron. 
tea and herbal infusions and I can't find the date on that so it doesn't really matter and it's tea I love my herbal tea um which is good so you've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten of the green tea and lemon so again I don't know why I'm showing this camera when it's there you also get sweet peppermint mint douche or yeah uh london and fruit and herb again uh and you get one two three four five six seven eight nine you get ten of them and again there's no date on them um so that's good it doesn't really bother me it's tea i love my teas so i'm gonna put them over there then you have, I'm going to move this out of the way so I'm not blocking this up but using that. Uh, then I have a ton of these, they are Cars Table Water Too Thin Crispy Biscuit Big Golden Brown. The best before was 12, 11, 22. Um, they're just water biscuits. Uh, they're packaged, they're sealed. You get two in each. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You get eleven of them. Now, to be fair, this is quite a lot. I'm still not even halfway through this box. Um, I then have a Ridgeway, Ridgeways of London Earl Grey tea, tea bags. Um, it's fair grade and I got three of them. So I don't think I'm going to be running out of tea anytime soon. Definitely not. This bag this box seems to be full of things like tea and uh, condiments. Uh, then I have Hellman's Brown Sauce Sachets. I love my brown sauce. Um, ooh, the best before on these are 422. Uh, you got one, two, three, four, five of them. Then I have. Let's see if I've got any more teas. No. Then I've got Ridgeways of London Pure Green Tea. And. Heath and Heather Organic Pomegranate, natural, naturally caffeine-free tea. I've never tried pomegranate tea, so that'll be nice to try and see what it's like. Um, going back to the condiments, I feel like I'm in Morrison's cafe. Um, I've got sachets of malt vinegar, from Harrison's, uh, it's the best before on them is the twentieth of the fourth, twenty twenty two. So they're still in their date. Uh, they're not in their date, but they're still in their package, obviously, uh, and they're sealed. So there's nothing wrong with them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five of them, and then just little pepper sachets. I do feel like I'm in Morrison's Cafe. Um, yeah, you get little pepper sachets by, I don't know who, um, but it's just pepper. So you got one, two, three, four, five of them little sachets. And then you get two Hartley's Blackcurrant Jam Pots. Um, they're 20 grams, so it's just things you get in a cafe, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, I don't know. If there is a date on these, I can't see it if there is. No, I can't see there being a date on these, but oh well, it doesn't really matter because it's jam and it's in the packaging. So I'll put all that back in this little box. I have my spinny thing there, but I don't think I'm going to use that.
that done on the bed. Then I have a whole um, package of chickpeas drained and ready to serve. You get six cans of them uh, of 150 grams and these are best before May 2023 but I find cans can last for years and years and years um so that's not so bad and chickpeas they could go for hummus and curries and things like that so that's not so bad and i'll be using them and doesn't say who these are oh, they're by napolonia napolonia i think and that's that box empty so all that stuff that i've just pulled out minus the cereal and the ripple cake was all in this box the next box and i'm gonna just go to the one that i thought was the mezzist things um you've got nestle extra thin chocolate I don't know what it says because it's not in English. Um, but this was best before second 22, 23, sorry. Uh, so it's just a chocolate bar. Um, you then have a little pack of Palm Violets. Who doesn't like Palm Violets? Um, another pack of roasted and salted nuts by starbucks and um, again november 22 for them uh you have a little uh bottle of craft gin club cocktail syrup fairy juice uh let's see if it tells me what it is blackberry yeah blackberry juice so that'll go nice in my gin that I've got in the living room because I love my gin so this is perfect and the best before on this is the 31st of the 3rd 2023 I'm not bothered it's the best before it just means that it's not possibly not as tasty after those dates or the quality is not as good as it would be before those dates that's all that means um i then have hartley's jelly sugar free um i have no clue what flavor because it doesn't say but i'm guessing strawberry possibly this uh was best before july 2023 and it's sealed as i keep saying everything in here is going to be sealed um but yeah i like my jelly Next, then I have another one of those Lily O'Brien's chocolate Hershey's Kiss style things. I have, it says new sugar-free Halls Proactive Vitamin C Immune Support Pink Grapefruit Flavour. Uh, I think they're like lozenges or something. Uh, and these were best before 30th of the 5th, 2021. But if they're lozenges, it doesn't really matter. Um, oh, Sugar-free sweets. But I would have thought whole being lozenger, but oh well. So that's not so bad. Then there's Heinz Tomato Frito. I have no clue what that is. Um, I'm assuming it's not English at all. I think it's French, maybe. Um, Amsterdam, Dutch, Belgium. So, yeah, it's not English either way. But it, I think it's just tomato soup or tomato puree. So, that's not so bad, actually. Well, I've got my mum's tablet. Um, I shall translate it. If I could spill the blinking thing. All right. Go ahead. Mm. 
don't even know what they speak in Amsterdam. <laughs> I'm going to say Dutch. That doesn't help. Mm, French. Fried. It's not going to be fried tomatoes. But I know it's got garlic and onions in it. So I'm guessing it's soup. Let me Google it. Tomato frito. Uh, tomato frito is a pureed tomato sauce with a hint of onion and garlic that can be used as a base ingredient or enjoyed simply on its own for flavour. It is distinct from most tomato sauces because the tomatoes have been fried and it is its ingredients include small amounts of vegetable oil. So it's just a tomato sauce based soup style thing. Slow simmered for two and a half hours for an interestingly, irresistibly rich base. So you can use that in. I'm not too sure what you use it in, to be fair. Um, oh, then there is Kraft's light mayonnaise. Um, yeah, I don't know. I can't understand that and where is it from it normally says where it's from but i can't see it but anyway the best before on that is the 12th of the 12th 23 so that's still in date um and the tomato frita was the third uh, 324 so that's still in date as well um then there is Baxter's horseradish sauce. I love horseradish sauce. Um, this date was October 2022. The seal is still on it. Um, and Baxter's is really nice. Then there is actually one. I don't know why I'm showing the cameras up there. One of these... Um, Mez East, Middle Eastern food, but this is a shawarma wrap kit. Um, it comes with one chicken shawarma mix, one tahini sauce and one pomegranate sauce. Um, I think I might have that for food today, possibly. Especially with the fact that I've got chicken, so that'll come in handy. I just haven't got tomatoes, cucumber, oh, bugger. Right, maybe not for food today. Until I get all those. But best before on this is 5 2022, but it's sealed, it's, all right, there's a bit of dink there, but that's from where it's been transported. Um, but yeah, that looks quite nice. Then the last thing in this box is, sorry, Waitrose and Partner Sea Salted Popcorn. Um, I always say Waitrose is the posh, posh food store, um, it's not, it's just a higher end in senses. Uh, this date was on this was the 28th to the 1st, 2023, uh, salted pop, popped maize corn. Um, but yeah, I've always wanted to shop in Waitrose, never got around to it. So I'll probably do it one day when I can be bothered. Probably back in this box. Oop, I left the tea out. Right. Uh, crumbs. I'll start with these two. I then have Irvin's Homestyle Bakery Empire Biscuits, lovingly baked in Scotland. They were £1.99. Um, I don't see... Unless I'm just being stupid. Oh, yeah, I was. 
best before 19th to the 12th, 2022. Again, everything is sealed. It's only a best before date. It's not a used buy or a sell by date. So it doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah, these look quite nice. Then I have from the same company, Irvin's Homestyle Bakery. These are Gypsy Creams. And they're this... You know, this is a week later on the 29th of the 12th, 2022. They're lovely baked in Scotland by both of them. And they're both... Well, that one was 199 This was 169 Um, But yeah, they look really, really nice. Um... Decide in which box to get up first. I'm leaving that one in there for now. <sighs> right. I have had a whole crate, well, half a crate, I'd say, of Brit Vic spicy ginger uh, ginger ale. They've all just literally fallen. Um, I can't tell you how many I had. Let's have a look. Nope. Right, so I had three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 12 cans of Brick Fix Spicy Ginger Ale. Um, I'm not a fan of ginger, but I'll try it. Probably won't like it. Uh, but these are still in date. These are October 2023. Um, it looks like the case got cut in half. Ooh, I'm losing again. So that's them. Um, I then have another set of Britvic. Um, more. Uh, these are fiery ginger beer. I know my mum likes ginger ale or ginger beer either one. Um, they're in small little cans of 150 mils. I got 12 of these and they expired uh, on the 5th. 2023 it says expired it's best before not sell by or use by it says there oh crumbs so you know i would have had tape on them right, sorry my hand in the way then i have a lot of drink a whole this isn't even a drink this is vegetables um well it's a soup I've got a crook case then of two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Um, I don't know why I didn't look there. Uh, soup, green garden vegetable soup. Um, it's by Hind, it's soup of the day, green garden vegetables. Um, they're in those little containers and they expired, or oh well, best before the second 2022. Um, so there's them, and that's that bag empty. I have to put that back in the box because otherwise, yes, right. These are well packaged, fair play. I just put that there. Sorry, it's blocking the camera. Two seconds, right. Let's go on the corner of you. Right, the next box. I'm not reading the box because I know it's not going to be what's in the box. What is it? Yeah, some of it is. Um, I've got... These weren't spicy or hot. They were just Moorish. Mana Massa, Queso Blanca, Blanco and Lemon Drop Chili. Layered with creamy Queso Blanco, yellow... Homony corn and the citrusy heat of lemon drop chili. That's going to be spicy. You can just tell by the picture. Um, and these 
with best before the 30th of the 7th, 2023. They look hot. They really look spicy. Um, they've got a yellow chilli on them. So that would mean spicy. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I've got nine of them. So goodbye to my stomach. I then got three uh, blue raspberry bling, bring freezer squishy, so they're like the um, uh, push pop uh, triangle things um, you could get. So you freeze them and they come up like a pyramid. So I've got three of them. Um, was there any, a best before date on these? Yeah, best before six of the sixteenth of the first, twenty twenty three. There. Uh, then there is Nando's Flavor Shaker, garlic and garlic and herb peri peri seasoning. Um, I like my seasonings, uh, so this is perfect. Uh, trying to find the best before oh, they are August twenty twenty three. Considering we're still in August. Um, you know, I still got a couple of weeks left on that. Um, Jesus. Then these are sellotaped together, and that's that box empty again. Right, cut up. In this box, put them by there. In this little box thing, Jesus, um, I've got a whole one litre Hellman's dressing Caesar, uh, made with fresh range egg, free range egg. Sorry, made with garlic and Italian cheese. Um, it's massive. And the best before on that was the 1st of the 8th, 2023. So it's not long gone uh, past this best before date. It's huge, just one litre. What am I going to do with that? Um, next then, as you've seen, I have Britvic, uh, Indian tonic water, uh, 850 mils and the expiry well best before is April 2023 but it's water it's tonic it's rank um, and then this one which is the last product of this box and to be fair I am happy with everything I got I mean it's eclectic it's random um, it's a bloody mystery box I mean what more could I want you know it's different, it's worth it, and it saves food going to the landfill. Uh, in here then, I have two items. The first one is Heinz Plant Proteins Mediterranean Tomato Bean Soup with Thyme. Um, and the best before on that is 11-2022. So it's just the tin of Heinz soup. And I'm guessing this is an, oh, I thought it was another soup. Uh, this is Alfro almond milk. I like my almond milk. I like my um, non-dairy milks, but I like my dairy too. Uh, this is plant-based, seriously nutty, uh, roasted almonds. It's one litre and the best before was the 25th of the 12th, 2022, but these are long life. So they last for ages unless they're opened and then obviously not. But I do like these and I like them in my coffee. So they'll come in perfect. So overall, yeah, I'm happy with everything that I've got. I've got a good variety, a lot of chili crisps. Um, <laughs> I can't make a meal out of the majority of it, but it's not that bad for 
the price you pay, you get a lot of stuff. Um, as I said, you could go on the website, you can choose the stuff you want in your box. Um, you don't have to just get the mystery box. There is a list, uh, there is different sections on the website where you could go in and get stuff um, for yourself and obviously they'll deliver. I, I just wanted the mystery box for the fact of it being a mystery. Um, I'm hoping now that this is done. I've got a few more Timu orders come in. Um, I think it's four or five, maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. Um, I have a mystery box too, but I don't know um, when it's going to arrive because on the tracking it says between the 1st and the 3rd of September um, and that it's coming from China. So I'm hoping it comes before then. Uh, I've got the tracking information. Hopefully it's legitimate tracking information um, and that it's a legitimate thing. Otherwise I've just been duped. Um, but when that comes, I'll do another unboxing of that. Um, but the problem is I've got to go collect it because when I placed the order, uh, I did it on Google Pay and for some reason it's put it as a different address. Luckily I know the people that live at that address so I can just go and collect it when it comes. Uh, I did contact the seller and I asked can they change the address. Uh, when I placed the order and I noticed that it was wrong, I instantly emailed them. I've emailed them three, three different times since as well and I've had no response and they've still continued to send it to that address. So hopefully I get it. But yeah, that'll come and that'll be something different from Timu because that's all my videos seem to be at the minute is Timu related. I am trying to find um, Amazon return boxes or pallets or return boxes or mystery boxes. I'm just trying to find different things to um, upload. Um, I have been looking on different websites at pallets, returns pallets and liquidation pallets and things like that. So hopefully one day I'll be able to do one of them. Uh, obviously there's going to be a lot of stuff. It's going to be a massive pallet. And I don't know where I'm going to put it. I know my bedroom's 16 foot long by 12 foot wide, but I still got to find somewhere to put it. But that's all the fun of it. Um, but yeah, the next video now will be Timu again and Timu after that until I get my mystery box that I've got come in. And that would be a electronics digital thing, gadget, mystery box. So that's going to be fun. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'm sorry it was a random one. I'm hoping that the, my phone filmed down on the products properly and that you were able to see them. Um, but if not, I will put pictures up screenshots in one of the corners for you anyway. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching guys. Please like, subscribe share, comment, anything um, that you physically can. I'd really, really appreciate it. Um, I do appreciate you staying and watching. I know this is like a 50 minute long video-ish um, and I blab on a lot. Uh, but yeah, I look forward to posting again and to reading your comments if you do leave any. Um, as I said, I will link the description uh, link the website for the mystery box and for well not just the mystery box but I'll link the description of in the description I'll link the website for clearance XL limited um if you wanted to go and have a look on there uh there's no minimum um order charge a uh, minimum order so you don't have to spend a minimum uh, the postage is between two ninety nine and nine ninety nine, so that's not bad at all. Um, as I said, two ninety nine, I think standard. Nine ninety nine was next day, which is what I chose. Um, yeah, I intend to either get another mystery box, or I'll just make up my own box and unbox it on camera. It just depends on what I feel like doing uh, and what you guys 
want me to do and suggest. I'm open to suggestions um, and feedback. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.